and the debate rages on bipolar 1 and a half or 1.5 it is protracted or recurrent hypomania without depression eventually such patients will often develop a major depressive episode and the diagnosis will then change to bipolar 2 disorder bipolar 2 and a half or 2.5 This designation is for cyclothymic patients who develop major depressive episodes. Cyclothymics are often called moody and treatment of their major depressive episodes with antidepressant monotherapy may actually cause increased mood cycling or even induction of a full manic episode. Coming on to bipolar 3. This is manic or hypomanic episode on an antidepressant that is substance induced mood disorder. Bipolar 3 and a half or 3.5 It is bipolar disorder associated with substance abuse and as can be expected combination of mood disorder with substance abuse is a formula for chaos. Bipolar 4 It is depressive episodes with pre-existing hyperthymic temperament. As we know hyperthymics are often sunny, optimistic, high output, successful individuals with stable temperaments for years but then might suddenly collapse into a severe depression. Such patients may respond best to mood stabilizers. Bipolar 5 This is depression with mixed hypomania. Generally have a worst outcome as there are more mood episodes, more work impairment and more likely to have family members with mania or other bipolar disorders as well as early onset depression and it is more important to emphasize overactivity rather than just mood elevation and a duration of only 2 days as opposed to 4 days required in most diagnostic systems in hypomania. Other related conditions include both full mania diagnostic criteria and full depression diagnostic criteria. The other one is depression with only few hypomanic symptoms, then full mania with only few depressive symptoms also called dysphoric mania and some symptoms of both mania and depression but not diagnostic of either. Patients with mixed states may be particularly vulnerable to induction of activation, agitation, rapid cycling, dysphoria, hypomania, mania and suicidality. when treated with antidepressant particularly without concomitant use of mood stabilizers or an atypical antipsychotic the mixed states are summarized in this table coming on to bipolar 6 it is bipolarity in the setting of dementia where it can be incorrectly attributed to the behavioral symptoms of dementia rather than recognized and treated as a comorbid mood state with mood stabilizers and even with atypical antipsychotics so what is the take away from all this information Not all patients with depressions have major depressive disorder requiring treatment with antidepressant monotherapy and there are many states of mood disorders within the bipolar spectrum beyond just bipolar 1 and bipolar 